We're at the Trail Canyon Trailhead, and today we're heading for Mummy's Toe. Mummy actually has a toe, knees, a tummy, and a head. And we've been on the tummy. We're heading for the toe today. Pretty busy trailhead at this point. Look at these cliffs. These are amazing. They're so beautiful. Anyway, heading up the Trail Canyon Trail to the junction of the North Loop Trail and then around Terrain Tree over to Mummy Springs and then straight up beyond Mummy Springs to Mummy's Knee and Mummy's Toe. So, here we go. Here's Coxcomb Ridge. We have ascended in 45 minutes about 1400 feet. So this north, um, this trail canyon trail is, um, it gets right up there. Pretty good incline, steady incline. Anyway, I'll show you just a moment when we get to the junction of the North Loop Trail, Trail Canyon Trail and North Loop Trail, how you can get up to um, Coxcomb Ridge. And um, that, that's a beautiful experience in itself. Some people actually climb the cliff. I have not yet, but I have circled around it and and gotten pretty close to the top. I don't do rock climbing. Anyway, you're looking at the south ridge of Kyle Canyon and then right behind this tree is Mount Charleston or Charleston Peak. And here is the Trail Canyon Trail and we are very close to the junction of the North Loop Trail. And we'll have a good view of, you know, here's Mummy Mountain, and we'll have a good view of Mummy's toe uh, very soon. Well, here we are closing in on the junction. And as promised, I'll show you the, the different routes. There's three different routes you can take here. One is, well, two of them are pretty well known. One is not so well known. If you take a left, you're gonna head up to um, the, the cutoff for Mummy Mountain, and that's a cut off the trail. If you actually take a left and stay on the trail, the North Loop Trail, then you're gonna end up circling the whole Mount Charleston Loop. If you take a right, little known, you can head up to Coxcomb Ridge. And if you head down the way I'm going to right now, you're heading over to um, the North Loop Trailhead, which incidentally, because of a fire, is um, closed off. We won't get that far anyway. But um, another thing to note here is that here is Mummy, uh, Mummy's toe. I guess you would call it the feet and the toes, um, but they just call it mummy's toe. I guess it just has one toe. That's what you get when you're a mummy. And you can see Mummy Mountain. There it is. Here is the North Loop Trail. And remember I spoke about the um, Charleston um, Circuit Trail, which is the North Loop, 
to the south climb just and i've spoken about those those inhuman runners who just have two water bottles strapped to their chest met one of them just a moment ago and there's another runner this is like a freeway um anyway i met one of those runners coming around the trail he had gone up the south climb and um, summited Charleston Peak and was coming down. Um, he was almost done with the circuit. I asked him how long it would probably take him. And he was looking at a time of about five hours. So that's why I say these guys are inhuman. Um, it's, it's like impossible. Anyway, another good shot of mummy's toe. We're going to circle around the right side of the toe and um, right at the base of the toe, the other side of the toe is rain tree. And then there's a cutoff trail for Fletcher Peak. By the way, there is Fletcher Peak. So that's a way to get up to Fletcher Peak, but we're going to get to Rain Tree and then um, circle around the eastern base of Mummy Mountain, at least the first part of it, uh, past Mummy Springs, and, and then we head up, um, straight up, to Mummy's toe and Mummy's knees. And, and um, the other side is a lot more forgiving um, definitely we're not climbing the cliff we don't do that a trail runner not a rock climber but anyway we're going to find a way up to the top of that cliff there that is mummy's toe and um, do that without any exposure it's it's a it's a pretty cool route and i haven't done it before but i suspect that it's it's all possible so we're going to give that a shot right now. Here we go. Sights coming into view on this North Loop Trail beyond the junction, heading toward Rain Tree. And here you see Harris Mountain. And there's a saddle. And then up the next ridge, up to Griffith Peak. And if you look at the Harris Griffith Circuit, or the Griffith Harris Circuit, on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. You can see that circuit. Doing that circuit alone is equivalent to one and a third times the entire uh, Mount Charleston loop. And then circling around, here's Coxcomb Ridge. And we were just at the base there at the junction the trail junction but here you can see coxcomb peak coxcomb ridge and actually from what i hear the one on the left is coxcomb peak that's the summit the one on the right looks higher but i don't think that's the actual summit um, i could be wrong okay so if you're up at griffith peak you can continue along after doing the <coughs> the Harris Griffith circuit continue along the top of the south ridge of Kyle Canyon as it rises up and then you're at Mount Charleston or Charleston Peak 11,920 feet Griffith Peak was 11,060 feet, and um, Harris Mountain over here is just over 10,000 feet. So when we get to the mummy's toe, let's take a look at mummy's toe, try not to look straight into the sun here, or we're not going to see much. There's Mummy's Toe. We'll be up at 
about 11,000, three or 400 feet when we hit the, the top of Mummy Stone. There's the beautiful Mummy Cliffs. I just love the look of the cliffs around here. They're so sheer and beautiful. So that gives you an idea where we are. Here's the North Loop Trail, by the way, that um, we just um, traveled from the junction. So we'll give you a smooth 360 degree view now. See where we are, Coxcomb Ridge again. Griffith Peak, Saddle, Harris Mountain. And if we could see beyond this ridge here, which we will in a bit after we circle it, uh, you'd be seeing Fletcher Peak. And then Rising Sun and Mummy's Toe. Okay, let's continue on along this trail, up, down, up, down. Okay, just a little further on along here. Um, the sun is behind a ridge, so a uh, better view of Mummy's toe here on the right. And there is the rising sun. We've invested, oh, about... Um, about a little less than an hour so far on this trail. And here's a look at the trail. It's a place where you can actually see the line of the trail as it circles around the base of Mummy's Toe. Here's a better view of Mummy's Toe. And see a few other things here too. Uh, beautiful setting, as all of these settings are beautiful. Anyway, you look down to the right, there's a ridge. Go down that ridge to about the point behind the tree where there's a bit of a saddle. That's where Rain Tree is. And you go beyond Rain Tree, and there's the cutoff for the uh, Fletcher Peak Trail, which takes you up this ridge to the summit of Fletcher Peak. And you can see that in the LasVegasAreaTrails.com, exactly where that cutoff is. Look at, look at the Fletcher Rain Tree page on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. You'll see how to get up to Fletcher. It's not marked. Okay, and there we've got Harris Mountain. There's the saddle and those cliffs. And then Griffith Peak is behind the trees here. So, gives you a 360 degree view where we are. Back to Mummy's Toe there. We're going to circle around the backside from Rain Tree. I'll show you when we get there. Continuing to round Mummy's Toe here. And we're closing in on Rain Tree. And there you see Fletcher Peak. So we'll see more of that in just a moment. And here's the North Loop Trail heading up toward Rain Tree. Heading back down the way we just came. Uh, correction, that was not Fletcher Peak. This is Fletcher Peak. Okay. Okay, we're closing in on Rain Tree. There is the beautiful Rain Tree, 3,000, 2,000 to 3,000 years old. And it was a little bristlecone pine, baby rain tree, during the classical Greek era, uh, 500 BC, 
or earlier, which is pretty remarkable. It started growing at that point. And you can see as we look around, there's some smaller bristlecone pines, which are the size of rain tree back uh, 500 BC to 1000 BC. So if you can imagine all of human history having passed by during the time this tree was, well, let's take a look. This tree was about the size of one of these little bristlecone pines. And all of that human history, the last uh, 2,500 to 3,000 years, has passed by as this tree has been silently growing in this very place. It's one of the wonders of the world, really. These are among the oldest living uh, creatures, <laughs> plants, the oldest living organisms that exist on Earth and perhaps anywhere in the universe for all we know. And here it is, right in front of us. So that's Rain Tree. And now we're at another junction. You can continue on the North Loop Trail up in this direction. You know, you're taking a right here, but you're continuing on the North Loop Trail and very shortly you reach the cutoff for Fletcher Peak. And as I mentioned, um, look at the Las Vegas area trails.com uh, Fletcher Rain Tree page and you will see the exact cutoff that is unmarked that takes you up to Fletcher Peak and it takes you up a, a ridge and then you end up on Fletcher Peak, which is behind those trees. And you barely see it there. But what we're going to do today is we're going to take a left and head toward Mummy Springs. And let's just... Now we're turning around, so left is right and right is left. But here's the, the sign, and you can see the North Loop Trail and the Trail Canyon Trail Junction head off to the left here, and Mummy Springs Trail heads off to the right. And Rain Tree marking the junction right here. So there you have it. And then behind Rain Tree is Mummy's Toe. We're gonna circle around and, and at Mummy Springs, we head up. And as you can see on the Mummy Mountain West page, there is a section of avalanche slope called the Horrifying Half. Well, anytime you climb anything on Mummy, uh, you end up going the equivalent of some Horrifying Half, which is a, essentially a half mile, um, pretty much straight up an avalanche slope. And, um, you know, this cliff here, you know, it's right, right in front of us. Um, I would say, yeah, we've ascended 2,000 feet so far. Um, I would say that we're going to ascend at least another 1,500 feet to get to the top of that cliff, which is Mummy's Toe. So, we're only roughly half way altitude wise we've been going um oh it's less than an hour uh, take away the time for these videos a little extra time for pictures and messing around and i'd say that probably an hour and a half get you up to this point from the trail canyon trailhead 
Um, you might be wondering why it's so quiet here. And that's because the main trail to Rain Tree is blocked off the North Loop trailhead because of a fire about three weeks ago. And so um, not many people come to Rain Tree from the Trail Canyon trailhead. They usually go the Charleston Loop, you know, up Lee Peak, Charleston Peak, Griffith Peak. Um, so that's why it's so quiet here which is a nice little treat that we've got total solitude here. And you could even mute <laughs> your video to, to have entire quiet and just look at the surroundings here, which are so, so beautiful. ancient bristlecone pine forest. Okay, let's go ahead, head toward Mummy Springs, and then straight up another horrifying half, which is uh, the reason I call it horrifying. It's like ascending a thousand feet in one half mile, avalanche slope. Okay, here we go. Here we are at Mummy Springs. And what we're gonna do is continue along the base of the springs. And what looks like there's no trail actually becomes a trail and clears up after you pass through these trees and then begins to zigzag up over that cliff area behind it. And then it takes a, um, a launch straight up um, the horrifying half on this side, 1,000 feet elevation gain. You'll notice that the rocks ahead of us, which are mummy springs, they, you know, the spring doesn't look like much. It is just, you know, the rock is wet. But um, in the fall, you come here in October, November if it's still open, and that water on the rock has frozen and built up until it looks like a cascading ice fall and it's it's just beautiful so mummy springs i'd visit it in october late october um, as late as you can get without um, the trails closing up with snow and um, i I think I mentioned that I had slipped once on an avalanche slope and I reached out and grabbed a, um, I, I grabbed a plant. <laughs> and look, at this is the plant that I grabbed. And I wasn't looking, but oh my God, don't grab this plant it's some kind of a a thistle and you definitely will know about that if you grab it um, there's a flower at the top of it kind of cute there but anyway um, those thorns stayed in my hand for a month or so it's just impossible to get them out and they eventually worked their way into my system I am uh, pretty much surprised that um, they didn't cause problems but that was um, over a year ago I guess if I was going to have a health crisis due to the thorns working their way into my blood um, it would have happened by now we hope okay so anyway yeah you can see these flowers the flowers from this thistle and some bugs pollinating them little bee so 
Um, very beautiful, even though you don't want to grab it to stop a slide on an avalanche slope. Um, I know you needed to hear that from me, but had to say it anyway. Okay, onward to another horrifying half avalanche slope. This incidentally is the first big switchback on this trail after Mummy Springs. And the reason I'm pausing here just a moment is I want to point out that this is where if um, I'm going along the east side at the base of the eastern cliffs of Mummy Mountain and then going up the Mummy Mountain northeast section. Um, route, I would take this direction. I'd, I'd um, get off the trail into the wilderness here and then just um, head over uh, three ridges into what I call Delta Canyon and then um, head up the right delta as you're facing the Mummy Cliffs and then go on up to the um, summit of Mummy Mountain through what I call the Northeastern Route. So um, you can see that on Mummy Mountain Northeast page of LasVegasAreaTrails.com. But we're not doing that today. We are continuing on this little switchback trail that is going to very soon turn into a an avalanche slope. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're still on the Mummy Springs Trail. As I mentioned, it turns into an avalanche slope. Anytime you're going to climb any part of Mummy, you got to deal with a horrifying half, which is an avalanche slope, very, very steep, that um, ascends about the height of the Empire State Building in just a half mile. And here we begin the horrifying half on this side. We're heading up to, let's see, make sure I don't go over the edge here as I'm showing you the surroundings. Um, we're heading up to the summit of Mummy's Toe and there's a cliff there. Um, shows you another view of it. And we were just at Mummy Springs. And to give you an idea, of Mummy Springs. Mummy Springs down um, here. It's about right there somewhere. Now we're above it. And you see the trail we were on just a moment ago. Looking up at Mummy Springs right from that a uh, little beyond that spot. And then giving you an idea of where we are in the larger picture. Um, there is the Charleston Observatory and behind it, see that little pointy peak? That is Griffith Peak. I mean, not Griffith Peak. <laughs> it is Gas Peak. Yes. And here's that Mummy Springs Trail right over here. And it's, it's pretty decent up to this point when you hit the avalanche slope. But getting back to Gas Peak there, that pointy peak to the left of Gas Peak is the Sheep Mountain Range and kind of behind those trees. You'll see it better from the, from Mummy's Toe. But that is where we are. And you can see wild, wild, Bristlecone Pine Forest. There's one that has fallen. And you can see the cliffs of Mummy Mountain. And here's another. Um, here's the, actually the um, wash that goes over Mummy Springs. And the avalanche slope we're about to ascend. 
uh, you get on this avalanche slope, you get a, um, a little zigzaggy trail, which really helps. Um, there's one spot I'll show you where you have to climb over some rocks, little class three climbing experience, not too bad. And then you continue straight up. So here we go, straight up. This avalanche path zigzags along. And as avalanche paths go, it avalanche slope paths, um, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, but you are ascending very rapidly um, every 15 minutes um, to a half hour. Well, every half hour, I'm ascending about a thousand feet at this rate. Every step is um, one foot ascent. Um, okay, I mentioned that there was going to be a little class three climb, and here it is over these rocks. Not really difficult, but um, it's the one little barrier that you need to get over if you're going to continue on up. So let's go ahead and, and take this little climb, get up to the top and look around. Okay, looking down that class three climb that I just did, little section, not much, but yeah, it definitely is up and there's the, you can faintly see the switch back, little cairn over here right on the edge, letting people know you've reached this point, time to descend. A little challenging going up those sections while holding two hiking poles that do not collapse, but yeah, it's not bad. And continuing on up this avalanche slope, you see around you, uh, the angle of the, the trees shows the steepness of the slope. I'm not on firm ground, so if the camera um, shows some wild sky shots here, just because I'm trying not to go back down that little chute that I just came up in a more rapid fashion. Okay, so... Here we are looking around and beautiful bristlecone pine forest all around us. And you can see the different designs made by these trees. In a bit, Mummy's Toe is going to come more into view. So we continue on up the avalanche slope for now. Let's see, that would be up this direction. We are over 10,000 feet now, and the little zigzaggy avalanche slope trail has just said, forget it, it's time to head straight up the slope and try to keep your footing on all the loose rock. So that's what we're going to do. Now, as I look at Mummy's toe, I'm not sure that this is going to be a direct route to the toe. So, you know, there's Mummy's toe. You can see be, uh, beyond the trees there, it's the cliff. And what we are actually doing is heading up toward Mummy's knees up here. And then we'll skirt along the top, see how far we get. Um, see if we can find a way over to the toe. If not, uh, we just need to find a, a route. It looks like that slope on that side, on the left side of Mummy's Toe, might be a route. So uh, we'll, we'll get up there and look around, see what things look like. So, okay. Onward up to Mummy's knees. Here we are above mummy's toe and we are actually on mummy's knee. That's where this little avalanche slope trail brought us. And 
Not sure that you can get directly to the toe from here. We'll explore up here. But uh, we're about, uh, we're, we're around 11,000 feet now. And this, uh, you know, maybe 10,500 to 11,000. My altimeter poops out at 10,000. Um, which, which is not very helpful. Um, but mummy's knees right here. And let's just explore a little bit up in this area. We've still got some avalanche slope to go here. So I'm proceeding in a rather careful way so we don't slip and you will see blue sky suddenly instead of the route that I'm on. And actually there are some people who skirt the eastern side of the mummy cliffs from up here. And I mean, you can do that, but it does require a lot of, a lot more climbing than my wilderness route that I take that I pointed out a little earlier that crosses the eastern side much lower and then heads straight up. This is actually one of the most beautiful areas in all of the Charleston wilderness. Love the, the rock here and the bristlecone pines growing up in the midst of this rock. And then the views just get incredible. As you top this area, and we're right on the knees now, we'll look over at Mummy's Toe from this area. We'll explore a little bit. But I have a feeling, based on what I've seen around me, that it's going to be difficult to cross from here over to the toe without doing a lot of descent and reascent. So that may be a future trip. I don't know. So here we are, topping Mummy's knees. And as you can see, Charleston Peak comes into view and the western side of Mummy Mountain. That whole area we traversed on the North Loop Trail down in this canyon area. And there you can see the, um, oh, let's put my hiking sticks down here. So Charleston Peak and great shot of Lee Peak. And then you can see the south ridge of Kyle Canyon. And so here we are on Mummy's knee. And guess what? <laughs> the toe is down there. So that is I would say an entirely different trip because, well, we'll get closer to it, but it's a different trip because I should have angled off in that direction much sooner and would have hit the mummy's toe. So I'll come back. And then looking around here, just a, such a beautiful spot. These bristlecone pines in this area the rock around them. It's like, boy, if you could do landscaping like this in your yard, you would have the very best landscaping ever. But the bristlecone pines would not grow unless you were above 9,000 feet. Okay, so you can see in the distance 
some glistening. Um, that is actually the Centennial Hills area. And then we move over in this direction, and, and I'm getting a lot of glare here, so I can only estimate, but um, here you see the Charleston Observatory. And looking up above and to the right, there's a little peak there. That's Gas Peak. And then, oh, moving around. Let's, let's come around up here. Yes, there's a great shot of the Sheep Range. And between Gas Peak and the Sheep Range, there's a valley and Fossil Ridge. So, gives you an idea where we are. And, as I said, there are people who climb these cliffs. You, you really need to be a rock climber. You're looking up at you know, close to the summit of Mummy Mountain, right up in this area, which would be 11,500 feet. Um, that's about 500 feet above where we are at the most, so uh, we've got to be around 11,000. I have actually been, let's see, I've actually been in this little crack here between these two rocks. I ascended a uh, what I call a dead end <laughs> um, shoot and ended up looking over the edge of that um, area right between the rocks and realized that no I wasn't going to um, scoot up that big rock and then over to the summit of Mummy Mountain uh, because I'm a trail runner not a rock climber okay and so anyway, we'll explore around up here a bit. I'm gonna refuel for the moment. But here we are, Mummy's Knees. Standing on the knees, looking around. Beautiful, rugged cliff, bristlecone pine area up here, uh, close to 11,000 feet. By the way, right beyond Mummy's Toe down there is La Madre Mountain and El Padre Mountain. And you can see the Devil's Slide. Looks like a permanent snow field, but actually it's beautiful granite made of the same material as we have around us here. And it actually, um, it, is, it is so smooth. That whole slide, um, it's got to be 500 feet long and, and maybe 100, um, 200 feet wide. It's so smooth that it glistens in the sun and looks like a permanent snow field. So, okay, and there you have Kyle Canyon below us. Okay. Let's rest and then continue on. Another even better vantage point. We'll do a 360 degree um, view here. Um, there you have Mummy's Toe. And behind Mummy's Toe, there's La Madre Mountain. To the right of La Madre Mountain with that Devil's Slide is El Padre Mountain. And... Let's look around a little bit more, see what we can see. So, I don't know. Um, there are some, you know, routes around here, so we'll we'll explore just a little bit more. But okay, here you see. Uh, well, right on the other side of La Madre Mountain is Red Rock Park and Calico Basin 
And what else do we see? I can see the very tip of Bridge Mountain. Um, brown mountain, smooth. Very tip of Bridge Mountain from here. And there's Harris Mountain. And then you see there's a saddle up to Griffith Peak. And if you look straight down that saddle, you can see Potassi Mountain and Lavelle Canyon um, is right on the other side of that saddle. Very beautiful canyon. So back to Griffith Peak. There you go. Good shot of Griffith Peak. And then you can see along the whole length of the southern ridge of Kyle Canyon to Charleston Peak. There's Charleston Peak. And there's Lee Peak. And now oh, there's the ridge, the avalanche slope on the, oops, sorry, shaky a little bit here. Um, there's the avalanche slope on the west side of Mummy Mountain. And you can see that ridge between Lee Peak and the avalanche slope down there where the North Loop Trail is circling around. Um, you go up the avalanche slope right behind this cliff, which is Mummy Mountain, and you then ascend to the summit of Mummy Mountain, which is right there, um, up the other side, the western side of Mummy Mountain. And so, yeah, we are very close to the summit of Mummy Mountain as we stand here. And then looking around this beautiful, uh, almost barren, but just well-placed, artistically placed bristlecone pine trees all along this area. And looking up the 95 corridor, I-95, over to the Sheep Range, Charleston Observatory, down here. Gas Peak, little pointy peak over there. And then, yeah, it's very hazy, but Centennial Hills is just below Gas Peak. We're looking straight down at Centennial Hills. And there you have it, 360 degree view. One thing we did not point out was there's Charleston Village down there. Pretty much where we began this journey today. And you can see the area of the South Climb Trail. And also the avalanche slopes that lead up to the ridges that lead up to Harris Mountain here. So, gives you a bird's eye view of this whole area. And speaking of birds, if you were a crow, or a raven, one of these long distance birds, and you were to fly about, oh, it's 
around 25 miles to Centennial Hills area and then the Las Vegas Strip down in that area. You fly down to the Las Vegas Strip about 30, no more than 35 miles as the crow flies. You would be in 110 degree temperature right now. I think up here where I'm standing at about 11,000 feet, uh, the, the air is cool. I've got a perfect breeze. Feels great. Uh, probably around 70. 110 down in the Las Vegas Valley at this very moment. And um, I, I'll go around and give you a better view of... Um, there's one um, site that I wanted to point out that is not real visible from here, but there is some visibility. Yeah, barely. Big fire that occurred um, about three weeks ago in the space of just a couple hours destroyed hundreds of years, centuries worth of growth. Um, and you can see a red line down there. That's fire retardant. And that's where they were able to um, stop the progression of that blaze. But um, yeah, a whole lot of, of forest down there, acres and acres were um, consumed. So anyway, there you have it up on these beautiful um, rock cliffs. I think it's granite. And um, so that's, this is mummy's knee. A oh, one landmark we missed is Coxcomb Ridge. There it is. This is an aerial view of Coxcomb Ridge. It's about 9,000 feet elevation down there on the ridge. And just to give you perspective, Griffith Peak, Harris Mountain, Potassi Mountain in the distance, and Charleston Village down there, Coxcomb Ridge, right down in this area. And that's where the junction of the North Loop Trail is, where you take the Trail Canyon Trail, you head right down Trail Canyon to where we begin. Okay, onward.